everyone, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another gardening video and we are going to be planting a variety of fruits in different containers. So if you follow me on Instagram, have read my blog or watched my last gardening video on setting up our vegetable garden, then you know that this year I am really focusing on learning how to grow my own food and I've really been wanting to plant a few of my favorite fruits. So yesterday I went to this amazing greenhouse. It was such a hidden gem. I'm so glad I found it and they had mostly flowers, beautiful flowers. I got two hanging flower baskets I will show you. I did take a couple of videos while I was there, but it was really busy and I was there by myself and I felt a little embarrassed taking videos. So I wish I could have gotten more, but I did get a couple of clips that I will insert here. But while I was there, I picked up some strawberries, some raspberries and like a grape plant. And I do really want to plant some blueberries. So I'll have to go to Lowe's today and get a few blueberry bushes. I did see that they had them there. As you know, I am a beginner gardener. I don't really know what I'm doing. So in this video, we are going to be doing some research to figure out the best way to plant all of these different fruits and how to care for them. So if you are interested in learning how to plant strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, or grapes, then keep on watching. So in a minute, we'll head out to my backyard and I'll show you an update on my garden and all of the plants that I got yesterday. Like I said, I still need to go to Lowe's and pick up the blueberry bushes, but I just plan to pull the tags off of those plants and read the instructions there. But I also have this book here and it's not the best resource, but it does give you like the basics on what to know um, for planting different things. So I want to look through this book and see if they have any advice on planting any of those different fruits that I got. And then I figure I'll just Google and Pinterest any other tips on planting those fruits. So I will just update you guys along the way. Okay, so this is what the garden is looking like so far. Here's one of the flower baskets that I got yesterday. Isn't it so pretty? I love it so much. And then I also put one over there. I love the pink color. But here is everything that I picked up yesterday. So my mom actually gave me this pot that she had for a long time, but decided she didn't want it anymore. So I'm going to put the strawberries in here. And here are the strawberries that I got. So I'll touch on this later, but I did get the ever bearing strawberries. And then this is the raspberry plant that I got. And I do not think that these little buds were on here yesterday so that is super exciting it's already growing and then I also picked up this grape plant and I'm really interested to see how this turns out okay I just watched tons of YouTube videos did some googling and I took lots of notes but rather than just reading this all to you, I'm going to write it all in a blog post. So I will link that in the description box below and that way you can just read all of the tips that I have learned. I made a list of everything that I need to get at Lowe's. So I'm planning on getting some terracotta pots, organic potting mix, some acidic soil because apparently blueberries like to be planted in very acidic soil. That is somewhere between four and a half and five and a half. So I don't even really know what that means, but hopefully I can figure that out. Um, I need to get some fertilizer, some mulch. Um, okay, so companion plants. So companion plants are like things that you plant together to like keep pests away and bring in pollinators. So some things that were recommended for these fruits that I'm planting were marigolds, sunflowers, onions, and I don't know, I wrote it all down here. So that'll be in the blog post, but I'm going to try to find some companion plants to put in the planters with my fruits. And then I also need to get either some stakes or trellises to support the plants. 
So let's go to Lowe's and then I will show you guys how I'm planting all of these. Okay, I just got home from Lowe's and I'm so frustrated. It is so hard for me to make decisions and I almost always regret the decision that I made. So, okay, I have this terracotta pot that I already showed you. So I wanted to get more terracotta pots like to match this but they didn't have any. All they had were these like plastic ones and they came in different colors. So I was trying to decide between black and this color. And I went with this orange one because I thought it would match the terracotta pot, but it doesn't really. And these now just look kind of ugly. I don't want to plant all of these if I'm going to hate how it looks. So yeah, the more I look at this, I just know that I need to go and get the black ones because I just want it to be like aesthetically pleasing out here. I know that's so annoying, but I want it to look good. So I'm gonna have to go do that before I plant all of these, but I'll show you what I got. Okay, I got these two blueberry bushes. So this one is called pink icing and this one is peach sorbet. And I think that um, that just means that this one is going to have like peach colored leaves and then this one is going to have pink colored leaves. You can kind of already see them. So I'm super excited to see how those turn out and I'm going to put them both in the same pot because I've heard that you can put um, like two different types of blueberries together and they will cross pollinate and then you'll just get tons and tons of blueberries. So hopefully that turns out to be true for me. And then I also just got some marigolds that I'm going to plant along with my strawberries. I was really stressed about what potting soil to get and I just ended up getting the miracle Grow. so hopefully that is okay. And then I saw this in a video. People will use this to make their soil more acidic, so I'm gonna try that out. I also just got some of this straw because I heard that that can help keep the moisture in and also prevent like pests and things from getting into your soil. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I exchanged the pots for black ones. I still think it looks kind of dumb, but I'm hoping that once I get everything planted, then it'll look fine and I can always move them if I need to, but at least we got the color right. And then I'm thinking about ditching this one entirely and just putting the strawberries in one of these. Then I also got some sunflowers to put in the extra pot. strawberries all planted and I put some marigolds by them because these are pollinators and also supposed to deter pests and then I put this straw over the top which is supposed to help the water um, not splash up onto the leaves which can apparently cause fungus and it will also help keep the dirt moist and then it's supposed to help with um, keeping like slugs away too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now I'm going to plant the blueberries. I've already dug my hole and I need to add in this fertilizer and it says to add one cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then plant the blueberries. All right, we're all done. I ended up putting both of the blueberry bushes here and then down here. So I planted the grapes here and I moved the strawberries and the marigolds here. And then we had a bit of a fatality when I was trying to transplant the raspberry bush. I broke off this whole stem, which is so sad. So I'm really hoping that this will grow. It looks so sad, but hopefully it will recover. And then I ended up just putting some of those marigolds all throughout the garden beds. And I also planted some sunflower seeds just randomly all around. So we'll see where they pop up. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this video. I feel like today was one of those days where everything just kind of goes wrong or doesn't go as planned. So honestly, I got a little discouraged and I did not end up filming everything that I was planning on filming. So if you did not get your questions answered, then make sure to check out the blog post below because I'm going to be way more detailed in that post but i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back very soon with another video bye